Welcome back friends. Today we're going to do a collage. This is a very simple technique. Um, ever wondered how do you do a collage? I'm Susan Clifton. I'm in here in my Baca studio. If you haven't been here before, I am a mixed media collage artist, but I don't usually use magazines. But today I thought, hey, you know, let's let's play with magazines and let's do something that is just fun. Let's just do something fun. Anyway, before I forget, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this type of video. I also do art marketing, so if you're a um, budding artist who's looking to really put their work out there, I can give you some tips. So um, let's get on with it. Okay, so a few years ago, I bought this magazine. I absolutely love it. I don't. I found it on a newsstand somewhere, and um, I need to get myself a, a subscription because I cannot find it anywhere. But um, on one side. When you have it turned over this way, it's all like design, um, featuring artists, interior designers, fabric designers, all kinds of fun stuff. And on the other side, it's more lifestyle, interior design, um, even recipes. Um, anyway, it's just a lot of fun. Also, you know, they show all kinds of art in all kinds of places. The other thing that I like about the magazine is the paper's a little bit thicker. It's really great for collage. And they do these fun borders on every single page. And so as I noticed as I flipped through the magazine that a lot of the art that they selected and the borders that they have with it are all sort of very uh, cohesively planned with the artwork and with the graphics on the page. So I really love how um, I could take one magazine and create a piece of artwork just with everything from this one magazine. So this is what we're gonna do today and uh, let's get started. This is what I'm starting with. I'm starting with a six by six aqua board that um, I was doing some experimenting with some stencils. I had like a a stencil that I purchased and um, I was just doing some washes on here this is with acrylic and I was layering and it was just to see how the aqua board um, responded to the paint and then I just kind of put it aside and didn't know what I was going to do with it so today I decided I'm going to make that my underpainting for a collage and I have various pieces that I got from a magazine and a lot of the magazine had um, similar type artwork. It was like a theme going on. The name of the magazine is called Origins. I will link below. Um, it's a very interesting magazine. And I love the artwork that's in it. I love just discovering new artists and, you know, find out what's, uh, what's going on out there in terms of uh, techniques and styles. So. What I did was I cut up some of my favorite pieces and also the, the magazine has a border around every page and I loved these little borders. So I thought they would be great for collage. As you can see, I especially love when they incorporate a little black like these. So I'm going to try to use these in this collage and I also um, cut around some of the artwork and I'll, I'm going to investigate who these artists are and and hopefully um, be able to link to their websites below. All right I'm going to use this scrap board that I have to um, add my acrylic medium. I'm going to start with this one because I know for sure where I want this to be.
And of course, you always have to make sure you squeegee. Oh, I don't think I got some. And you want to make sure you get all the bubbles out. The nice, the nice thing about this magazine too was that the paper was a little thicker than some magazines. So I'm leaving some off the edge so that I can, I could just cut off after it's dry. This was one of the borders on the page. and they were picking up the colors from the artwork they were featuring, so it was really nicely coordinating. So I was able to do this entire thing from pages in one magazine. I'm going to try to keep some of my favorite areas of my back, my back painting or whatever you want to call it. So, but I've got this white splotch right in the middle that I want to get rid of. Now if I had used watercolor on this aqua board, I probably wouldn't be able to do this because the, um, the back painting would have dissolved probably with the um, application of gel medium. I always like to experiment with new materials to see if it's something I can incorporate in the future. So I cut this little piece out and I just didn't like the squareness of it and it didn't really fit exactly in the plate and in, in the spot and I kind and it was covering up a little too much of this area so these are the decisions that you can make while you're collaging and interesting things start to happen
Okay, I want to incorporate some some type. So I'm going to try to cut this to fit in this spot. I had planned this video with a completely different layout. <laughs> and now here I am doing something that unplanned, but I think it's going to turn out better. And this is a lot of times when you're just doing like a little abstract work, what you think your plan is, it ends up being something completely different. I hope I'm going to be happy with the result in the end. I think I'm going to leave that bottom. I think I like that little bit of sort of orangey yellow. Um, I'm just going to trim off my ends. Actually, I kind of like it this way. Interesting. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. This is the finished piece and I'm, I'm on the fence about whether or not it was planned to be like this horizontally, but I'm kind of liking it like this. Leave me a comment below and tell me what you think. I think I'm going to hang it like this. Another thing I'm planning to do, because this is a very thin board. I'm not a big fan of really thin boards like this. So I'm probably going to paint the edge black and then I'm going to adhere this to a larger board. This is six by six. I think I'm going to adhere it to an eight by eight that maybe I paint one of the color I'll pick one of the colors in here and I'll paint the board that color and it will make a frame so um, if I get that done before I post this video I will show you a picture of it but anyway thanks for stopping by uh, I hope you come again soon don't forget give me a like thank you bye bye